morning this is Shyam today we are going to have a class on the topic bread making in this class we are going to cover introduction of breads role of ingredient dough mixing methods bread making steps simple breads common bread faults so let's discuss what is bread bread is basically a food which is made by the combination of flour water and yeast which forms a dough which is fermented kneaded and baked in the oven the action of yeast gives bread its characteristic texture and the flavor bread is the only food which is like wine is present on the table from the start to the finish of any meal bread is given as a traditional accompaniment to all the dishes it is also a basic ingredient in the sandwich canopies toast croutons and bread crumb after understanding what is bread, let's discuss role of ingredients in bread making. First one is the flour. Flour is the main ingredient for bread making. It forms the structure of the product. It contains gluten, which is the protein of the wheat. Gluten helps to form an elastic and stretchy dough. After that, yeast comes. Yeast is basically a microorganism. It is also a raising agent. Yeast produces gas to make bread rice because it needs correct condition for the growth. That is food, warmth, time and moisture. We, have, we are using some common yeast like fresh or compressed yeast, dry yeast and activated dry yeast. The next one is the sugar. Yeast needs energy to grow. Sugar provides the food for the yeast. It is needed to help the yeast to grow. The next one is the salt. Salt is required to bring out the flavor of the bread. This ingredient used in very small quantity because too much of this ingredient will stop the yeast from growing. The next one is water it is used for binding flour together and helps to form a structure of the bread after that fats and oils are added it helps to improve the texture of the bread and it also prevent bread from going stale quickly some common fats and oils which are used in bread making are butter margarine and vegetable oil after understanding what are the rules of the ingredient let's discuss what are the different dough mixing methods the first first one is the straight dough method in this method all ingredients are mixed together and the dough is fermented for a predetermined time the fermented time depends on strength of the flour strong flour requires longer fermentation time to mature adequately the next one is no time method in this method dough is not fermented in the usual manner it is allowed to ferment for a short period so the twin function of fermentation that is production of gas and conditioning of gluten are achieved to some extent by increasing the amount of the yeast and by making the dough a little slack and warm it is possible to get a good product using this method but product has poor keeping quality and lack of aroma. Due to short fermentation time the gluten and starch are not conditioned to hold moisture and there is no flavor because flavor pro producing byproduct of fermentation are absent as there is increased quantity of yeast present the bread may have a strong yeast flavor the next one is salt delayed method in this method slight variation of straight method is used where all the ingredients are mixed except salt and fat as salt has a controlling effect on action of yeast the speed of fermentation of salt less dough will be faster and a 
reduction in total fermentation time could be affected. The salt is added at the knockback stage. The method of adding salt at the later stage may be according to convenience of individual baker. It may be added through dry flour on the dough and mix. It may be creamed with fat and mix. The method is specially suitable for strong flavors are to be used for bread making by straight method. Due to absence of the salt, fermentation speed is enhanced and gluten is matured in a reasonably shorter time. Next one is sponge and dough method. This is not a normal method. This method is normally used for strong flour. Sponge dough are prepared in two stages. This procedure gives yeast a head start. In the first stage, in this method, a part of flour, amount of water, all yeast and the yeast foods are mixed together. Mixing operations are carried out to incorporate all ingredients even, evenly. The sponge is fermented for a predetermined time, which on the quality of flour and the amount of flour is used in sponge. The sponge is then physically tested by either taking a piece of sponge and try to break it out, break it out with both hands. If piece breaks with a clean fracture, then sponge is ready for mixing. If sponge stretches and break unevenly, then sponge needs more time for fermentation. Tear the sponge apart from both hands and examine the web structure. If the web structure is very fine, then sponge is ready. When the sponge is ready, it should be broken down properly then with the formula water and mix with remaining flour, sugar, salt and fat. After the dough is mixed, it is rested for 30 to 40 minutes. Predetermined condition of the gluten. Hasten the condition process. This was done during the sponge stage. For the identification and the convenience, a sponge is indicated 60 oblique 40 or 70 oblique 30, where the first number indicates the percentage of flour used in the sponge. The next one is ferment and dough method. This is a variation of sponge and dough method, rich doughs which contains milk, eggs, substantial amount of fat and sugar have Starting effect on yeast activity. If all the formula yeast part of flour, yeast food and sufficient water is mixed together, the yeast gets initial and environment which is conducive to vigorous activity and it is in a good condition to take on extra load of fermentation in the presence of milk, egg, etc. When the fermentation fermented dough is ready. For fermentation, it is mixed into the dough along with the remaining ingredient along with the remaining ingredient allowed to ferment for the second stage. This method is used for making enriched breads, buns, Danish pastry, etc. After understanding what are the different dough mixing methods, Let's discuss bread making steps. The first step is scaling here. It is very important to scale or measure ingredient accurately when making yeast bread because scaling has a very important impact on bread making because the quantity which differ, the bread will not come full of it. The next one is the mixing and kneading of the dough. Dough must be mixed properly in order to combine the ingredient uniformly, distribute the yeast and develop gluten. After that, mixing and kneading has been completed. The dough is kept for fermentation. Fermentation is the process by which yeast converts sugar to alcohol and carbon dioxide. During fermentation, the dough is allowed to rise Fermentation is the resting of whole dough but 
roofing is resting the shape dough 